even sure whether this is something that I want to be doing, but I'm taking you on a bit of a tour of my little aquariums. So this is the closed ecosystem aquarium, which contains some ramshorn snails, as you can see there. And that little one there is a bladder snail. And it also contains some neocaridinas, some blue sapphire shrimp, which like to insert themselves in the plants, but they're quite interesting little things to watch when they start moving around. They're all having a bit of a rest at the moment. There's six shrimp here in total although you can't see all of them. So it's quite a nice little setup that one. And this is my second little aquarium which is the eight litre bowl and this has also got some rather large ram's horn snails in it which you can see down there and it now has some gold white cloud mountain minnows and just getting used to it they're quite shy at the moment so they like hiding in amongst the grass and the stones in there but they're quite nippy little fish which is lovely and in this as well are some almano shrimp or ghost shrimp i think they're also called um, but they can be quite difficult to see, hence the name Lost Boys, because I always lose them and they occasionally pop out to say hello, but it doesn't look as if they're doing so this time round, presumably because I'm recording. But I did have a few issues with food on this one because normal flake food floats on top or sinks too quickly. So I've actually got some Daphnia water fleas on order and they are live food. So they will go in there and live in there quite happily until the fish decide that they want to eat them. So that's a nice little bowl there. And finally there is the Ecosystem 40 litre tank. So this is actually quite well established now. We've got some copper rasboras, which are the ones with the orange and black on them, and some ember tetras, which are the little orange ones. And I don't know whether you can see up here, but we've also got a pair of chili rasboras, but they do have a tendency to, there, there he is, right there at the top, they do have a tendency to hide in amongst the tree. This has obviously got the obligatory ram's horn snails as well. And it did have some caradina shrimp in them. So these are the red cherries, you can see him there eating away. We did have some other shrimp in here too, but they didn't work out so well for some reason. They didn't like it when I moved the tank about, so unfortunately they haven't survived. But it's doing pretty well this tank. The chilies like to hide in amongst here. So you can't see them there at the moment. But you can see I've basically got two pieces of wood there to make a tree and then planted there. But the fish seem to like it. Don't have too much of an algae problem at the moment. You can probably see or I don't know whether you can but 
right there in the centre of the screen. There's a little bit of algae on the glass, but that's expected. So at the weekend I will do a little glass cleaning and that will be about it. This doesn't actually need any water changes. The parameters are just perfect. So that one's working out really well. Thank you.